Welcome back to Lemmings to the Tribes. This is the second half of the Space Tribes, and are you ready for the Lunar Olympics? I mean, these Olympics can only happen on the moon and nowhere else, but then again, I do not think that on Earth we have, like, you know, the climber, the shimmier. Well, okay, I guess that throwing javelins and pole vaulting is an actual Olympic event, but... Oh yeah, also maybe, well, you know, running and jumping? But I still have to declare pouring out buckets of cement as an actual uh, Olympic event. So this level is one of those good old basic trailblazer lemming levels where it's more of an action stage where you have to declare each of the abilities that you do successfully. First you pole vault, then you shimmy, and then comes for the most famous of all Olympic events. Hopscotch! Also, you might have thought, well, you didn't really need a pole vault in order to get through the first wall. You could have climbed. But the problem is, if your lemming is a climber, he's just gonna climb the wall that is on the right, and he's going to walk off to his doom. So therefore, he must only be a climber whenever you reach the lower level of the level. Now, for most of this level, running is pretty much just being a luxury and nothing that is required in order to do the level. I mean, it makes the level go faster and everything, but here's where being a runner pays off. Yep, it's time to combine skills. If you assign uh, the spear skill to a living that currently runs, he's gonna throw the spear much further up and further away. So you have to make him run, otherwise the spear is not gonna collide against this block and your lemmings are not gonna have that one stepping stone that they need in order to get to the end of the level. Oh no, they brought back these level titles. Gosh, it's full of limbs! Also, I'm quite afraid that I don't really have a good solution for this level. I have to say, even the one solution I came up with for this level kind of sucks, so... If you can find a better solution, then please let me know. Because so far, that was the only one that I found which was... Which was working, I was gonna say, but then I messed it up. You want the lemming to land on that one ledge which is just a little bit lower. Going on top is not going to make it. We want to land onto the bottom platform in order to be able to make a giant bridge that will allow her lemmings in the entrance to fall on the one bridge that we're about to make. But that's not the only source of problems that we're gonna have in this one level. Right here I tried to have, well, a stacker in order to allow myself to use the filler in order to get my lemmings out of the pit that they're in, but unfortunately it kind of doesn't always work. It's kind of a big gamble and I'm not entirely sure here why it even worked. But yeah, this one bridge over here, or this one wall, was the one difference between making ourselves a filler that actually works. So now we can actually work on getting the end of this level done. And even then, I'm not even sure that the filler itself is gonna do the job. I think we might also need a platformer in order for all of this to work out perfectly. Well, I guess it's about time that we learn. The bad thing in this game is that, my god, the lemmings are so bad at the jumping up like ledges that are a little bit higher. So now we have to use bazookas in order to make a hole all the way down. Kind of finicky, pretty annoying, and eventually you just end up getting that one tiny bridge working, yeah. Unfortunately, I kind of fucked up here, so now it's time to check out. Am I gonna be able to actually platform my way out of my initial mess at the beginning of the level? But first, let's actually finish the level here by stomping our way down to victory. I mean, I probably could gather my lemmings in one big mess with uh, the platformer or the bazooka, I should say, but never mind, I managed to get it to work. But yeah, not the most optimal of solution. There's a whole lot of ways for things to go awry if you do the level that way, so... Yeah, you better expect some trial and error for this one level. But hey, as long as you get your gold standard rescue attempts, everything is fine. Oh boy, yeah, this level is definitely an odyssey. Up until then, the Space Tribe has been what I've considered a pretty challenging, but mostly fair and straightforward tribe. 
This is where it all ends, because this is all of all where we introduce teleporters. And good luck figuring out what these teleporters are linked to, what they're going to do for you, and anything like that. Now, this is trial and error at its finest. You're definitely gonna have to play this level a whole bunch in order to understand the magic and the basis of all of these teleporters into action. First of all, you want that one wall on the left in order to prevent all of your lemmings from being able to enter this one teleporter. This is a two lemming job that we have here. This one lemming here needs to grab onto this one rope. It's kind of a daring journey. I absolutely hate every second of it, but it has to be done. The other lemming is just going to rock climb and slide his way to oblivion and victory. And yeah, we have to set in another wall because we do not want our lemmings to go over to the, to the right. If your lemmings go here, you're gonna be ready for a whole lot of pain. I mean, your lemmings are not gonna be trapped, but you're gonna have to vault every single one of them pretty much one by one using that one chain uh, contraption that you have to operate with the fan. It is not fun, I absolutely do not recommend it. So yeah, it kinda sucks, but yeah. By doing that, now we've gathered our two groups of lemmings together in one pile just above the exit, and now, yeah, at this point we're just gonna administer a, a slider here because otherwise this one section goes on forever. But yeah, our last lemming here actually just goes and laser blasts the way to victory, and hopefully everything is gonna work out just fine. Uh, oh shit, maybe it won't because... My climber is absolutely not going the right way. <laughs> He's going over to the evil alien base, but maybe there's a way that we can rescue him because I still have a Shimir. The Shimir by himself does nothing in this level, but it's a substitute to a jumper. Whew, you came from quite a long while, so okay, I guess Slider will speed up that one section where the lemming has to climb through all of the walls, but then Slider kind of fucks up the end of the level. And now, welcome to the penultimate level of space, and boy, this level sucks. Inside the steel box. Yep, that's where the exit totally is. But of course, the big question is, how the hell do we get to the end? This is definitely a completely different ordeal that we have here. And yeah, by the way, this hairlock, it may seem like an exit or something, but no, it's a trap. It's an airlock that will suck your lemmings into outer space, compared to your lemmings being sucked into outer space whenever they actually reach the exit, so I don't really know where the, where the difference is. So the first step of affair in this one level, you have to make sure only one lemming goes forward, and earlier I fucked up because the stacker must hug this wall over here, because of course your lemmings may end up falling in the tiny hole that you will generate, and that will spell doom and gloom to your level. Now this level is not as complicated as it seems, because Whenever you'll figure it out, most of the teleporters will end up leading to the same exact place, but until that you figure this stuff out, uh, yeah, it definitely seems like a very intimidating beast. And of course, there is some variety to the way that you have to use your skills in order to get to the end. <laughs> right now, we're using our builder here in order to ensure that our lemmings are not gonna fall in that tiny... Uh, cliff at the bottom over here, the tiny containment area. And yeah, this robot right in front of us, it's a trap. We're going to show it off at the end of this update, but yeah, it's definitely gonna kill your lemmings whenever it's gonna be on ground level, right in front of its line of fire. Again, another trap that is not too obvious at all. And yeah, we have exactly two platformers left, so that's what we're gonna have to use in order to get to the end of the level. These two teleporters here is what is going to lead us to the exit, and with our final roper, it's time to unravel and unleash the beasts. There we go, that's the end of the level. Now we're getting sucked in this totally different and friendly dimension of space where everything is all cutesy and friendly. But yeah, if you try to do anything in order to try and take another teleporter or anything, 
you will fuck up the level. Essentially, these teleporters are just here as decoy in order to make you believe that there's another way in order to do things, but in the end, it just comes off as really awkward and obnoxious to navigate, so all in all, this is a level that I really don't like at all. It took me quite a while in order to finish this level, and, well, I don't know, this is not the kind of solution that I like to work out. And now, time for the frontier of surreality! Yeah, I guess that the frontier of surreality is all about these different colored blocks and pretty much nothing else. While most of the space tribe has been fairly challenging and pretty interesting, unfortunately I cannot say that this one tribe ends in the most inspiring of ways. This is kind of an anticlimactic end to this one uh, level, especially after all of the ordeals that you've come through. Of course, the developers wanted you to do something else for this one level, but why do complicated whenever you can do things a whole lot simpler? Instead of going on that one teleporter, which is going to lead you right to the dead walker robot over here that is going to machine gun your butt out of oblivion, Hey, let's just take the more straightforward path by using all of the nice jumping supplies that Dolval has given to us. So, yeah, here we go, we've accomplished the same exact thing without having to endure death and destruction and everything. So now, the only remaining step will be to make a bridge using the glue pourer, but yeah, you're probably thinking, how exactly are we gonna get our lemmings out with the skills that we have? We sure don't have any bridge supplies, don't we? But then we have an artificial way for her lemmings to jump, thanks to our good old friend the bazooka! Yep, by shooting the wall repeatedly you will blast your lemmings out of here and that will allow them to leave this level and this tribe for good. It may take a whole lot of pain and suffering in order to leave the confines of space, but we've totally done it, we've braved the frontiers of surreality, and we've only had one casualty in doing so. So that's it for the Space Tribe, which I think in overall is one of my favorite tribes in the game, it definitely has a whole lot of variety to it, and finally this one lemming definitely will stick out like a sore thumb into the tally screen or something, it's just... Hey, you don't have a whole lot of lemmings which can fly into your menagerie of tribes. Nine pieces of the talisman done, only three to go. And now it's definitely going to be a, quite a contrast. We're going from one spectrum of technology to the other. We're going from the sci-fi advances of the space tribe to cave limb. But before we actually do that, I actually just want to quickly show off the practice skill, which doesn't really help you, well, you know, teach you how the skills work or anything, but you sure can dick with all of them and hopefully learn something in the process. But yeah, on the PC, unfortunately, the practice mode is not quite the best because certain skills definitely will require way more memory than the other. If you pick up a super limbing, for instance, boy, you're not gonna be able to use a whole lot of skills. And once that you've chosen your 8 skills, it is now time to choose one of the 4 tribes that we have here. We're gonna go in space because, again, I kinda wanted to show off that one obstacle that I did not showcase all tribe, because, well, you know, it definitely was kind of out of the way and I did not want to restart the whole level for no reason, and might as well show off a little bit, well, you know, what the practice mode is all about. As expected, you're not gonna learn how to play the game with that thing, but hey, you sure can mess around. That said, I can't really say that the Space Tribe is my favorite of all of the four tribes in order to try out, but at least it ain't the worst. I gotta say the worst one will be Polar. Alright, Super Liming, save us from this thing! I guess that it sure cannot do it. Earlier I managed to get it to come off right in front of the robot, but I kind of failed. Uh, even Hopper cannot do anything about this. Alright, it's time to save everybody, quick, to the lower levels! Uh, okay, hard. What am I even doing here? I mean, I know we're not really here in order to prevail or anything, but at this point there's some kind of sadism going on display here. 
So, we're gonna see you soon for the Cave Lem tribe, but before we go, here's one thing that should teach me well to always look at my effect box before I start recording commentary. Welcome back, you lemmings to the tribe. This is the second half of the Space Tribe, and are you ready for the Lunar Olympics? I mean, why Lunar Olympics? I mean, we do not say, hey, it's time for the Earth Olympics or something like that, but I suppose there's no seasons in winter, so hey. 